Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. My name is Marilyn, if it is your first time watching. Today I'm gonna be doing a zero to 100 makeup look. This is more of a bronzy, softish, glam makeup look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's perfect for like a date night or if you're going out with the girls. It is so sexy and I love it. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and make sure you hit the like button down below. If you are interested, then just keep watching. So first I'm gonna go in with my skincare. I'm gonna use my Ole Hendrickson moisturizer. Now I'm gonna go with my Ole Hendrickson eye cream and put that right under my eyes because I have some really bad bags and we gotta cover those up. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Ultra Precisely Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Taupe. I have a lot of brow hair, so I don't have to go in with a really dark shade because they're easily gonna get dark quick because of how much brow hair I have. I'm then going to take my fiber gel from MAC Cosmetics. This is in the shade Lingering um, and it's called the Eyebrow Big Boost Fiber Gel. So it looks like this and that's what the brush looks like. If you look really closely, there's like little fibers in it. Be careful, it is a little messy. but we are gonna be cleaning um, the brows up anyway with concealer. I'm gonna take my Born This Way concealer. This is the multi-sculpting concealer. This is in the shade Swan. And I'm just gonna take a flat brush and carve out the brows. Okay, my brows were definitely trying me today because they did not want to cooperate. Like, I haven't filled in how long, and the one day I film, they want to be all wonky and do their own thing. It's fine. Um, I worked with it a little bit, and this is as good as it, I'm going to get them. So, now I'm going to do the eyes first because I don't want any fallout to get on to the face makeup. So I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with that same concealer. Okay. I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Okay. Eyes are set. Now for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with my um, nude mood eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. I've been really loving this eyeshadow palette lately, especially for fall. You could do so many looks with it. The first shade I'm going to go in with is Bare to Wear. It's this nice transition shade right here. I'm going to put that right in the transition area. So I just got back from Austin, Texas. Um, I went with my boyfriend, my best friend and her boyfriend. And we had a really good time. Honestly though, it wasn't what I expected it to be, like Austin, Texas in general. Um, I don't know if it's because of the coronavirus, but there was a lot of homeless people Every street, everywhere you turned, there was tents set up and homeless people on the streets. It was very sad 
to see that and it makes me wonder if it was like that before or if coronavirus had an impact on all of that. Um, but besides that, it was really fun. Um, we went to a couple strips with bars and those were a really good time. We also rented these little scooters. We drove those around while we were pretty tipsy. <laughs> um, we went out to a lot of nice restaurants and we also met up with Michael's friends. Would I go back to Austin, Texas? Probably not. Um, maybe a different part of Texas, but Austin, no. I feel like there's not like a lot, a lot to do. Like not a lot of extractions and stuff like that. But there is the food. Oh my gosh, the food was amazing. Everywhere we went, the food was so good. Um, there was times where we picked a place and we couldn't get in, so we went to like just random place up the street and the food was banging. So they are definitely known for good freaking food. All right, transition is done. I'm gonna go in with All Natural, I believe it's called, it's right there. And I'm gonna put that in the crease area right here. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade I used, the Bare to Wear, that transition shade, and I'm just gonna blend those two shades together. Now I'm going to take this moody shade right here, dark brown shade, and use the same brush, and I'm going to take that on the outer corner of the eye lightly and blend that out. I'm gonna take this tap, uh, no, lap of Lux, that bronzy shade right at the bottom. I'm gonna just use my finger for this and I'm gonna pat it all over the lid. The shimmer is on. I'm going to now take this Smolder Eye Pencil and I'm going to run it across my lash line um, and then smoke it out with a little pencil. Um, I'm gonna take that moody shade in that palette again, that dark brown at the bottom, and I'm just gonna run across that line towards the top of the line to smoke it out further. All right, I know it looks crazy right now, but it will all come together, don't worry. I'm also going to take that same black liner and I'm gonna go on the waterline the top waterline because I am gonna be using lashes using these the creme shop lashes in the sh in the style wing they're 3d foam ink lashes and I got them from um, TJ Maxx actually for $4.99 for today I'm using the Maybelline lash sensational mascara I am going to come back to the eyes because I want to smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm going to do the face right now and then once I'm done with that, then we'll go back. 
So for primer, I'm going to use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is great if you have dry skin, it keeps that makeup on. The foundation really just like sticks right to this primer. So I've been doing this technique for maybe like a week um, and I've really been loving it. So I've been using this Wet n Wild contour stick and going in with this before foundation. So you guys will see, um, it all will work out in the end. It will look a little crazy at first, but it does give me a very flawless foundation. And I've been doing this routine a lot lately. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I think I saw um, Carly Bible do it, I believe. gonna use a foundation brush this is the morphe brush this is uh, jh03 and blend it out this is from wet n wild and it works very well i want to get the milk makeup stick but for now this works it's like the perfect tone i know you guys are probably like what the heck is she doing? Is she crazy? But no, it'll work out. Okay, so that's somewhat blended out. I'm going to go in with my Swan um, Born This Way concealer again. I like a really bright under eye, so this is a little bit lighter. Next, I'm gonna go in with my NARS um, Sheer Glow Foundation, and this is in the shade Punjab. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and dot it throughout the face. Hope you guys can see that it's coming together a little bit more now. Okay. And then I'm gonna blend it out. Look, look at that. I want to set the under eyes quick. So I'm gonna first go in with my, my Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder and I'm just gonna put that right under the eyes. And then now I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm gonna set the face.
I'm going to use my Next to Nothing pressed powder from MAC. This is in the shade Dark Plus. I'm going to wipe away that loose powder now. I'm now going to take my MAC Humor Me uh, blush. This is a mineralized blush. And for highlight, I'm going to take my Dose of Colors Fuego Highlighter. This is from the Desi X Katie collaboration. Hit the cheekbones. Down the bridge of the nose. I'm going to go back in to the eyes, like I said. I'm gonna first take my Smolder eye pencil and I'm gonna line the bottom waterline. I'm going to now take that all natural shade right there that I used in my crease and I'm going to very close to the lash line. Now I'm going to take that moody shade, the dark brown, and I'm going to go even closer to the lash line. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to take my MAC Extended Play Mascara for my bottom lashes. I'm going to now spray my face before I go in with my lip. Um, using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay, for the lip, I'm going to use my Oak Lip Liner, favorite lip liner from MAC. And now I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Stripped. I'm going to put a little bit of gloss on. I'm going to use my NARS gloss in also the shade Stripped. <laughs> just to add some hydration back to lips because that uh, liquid lipstick is very matte. In my inner corner, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Sweet Heat eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm gonna put that right in the inner corner for a little bit of a highlight. So gorgeous. That is it for this 0 to 100 bronzy soft makeup glam look. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.